my view in thinking about the higher education sector, first of all, to say that it is ours. And there's been a lot of disowning publicly of the higher education sector. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And it, it's supposed to be about the crisis, the crisis of the economy, the crisis of higher education. And that's why it has to be both disowned, reformed, and found to be the answer. What really is in crisis is a crisis of public education. Yeah? So I'm just trying to um, speak to my brief as a human rights educator and to try and vindicate uh, my role as an educator, uh, not only to educate about human rights in the university setting, but to use the university to vindicate human rights as an ideal. And the main way in which we do that, really, I think, is to have a very spirited conversation about neoliberalism. Very few of you will know this, but higher education is about to be reformed. And one of the specific pieces of reform is to reform the freedom of the university, yeah? academic freedom, uh, as a kind of principle of the university. Because the freedoms of the university to, um, to foster creativity, to um, create citizenship, to create knowledge, that that has to be redirected to serve the economy, not humanity. But human rights education tells us that, the right, that education must be based on the right to education. And the right to education says that the purpose of education is the full development of the human personality. So at this point, really, I think we should speak to the crisis as the thing that brings to the surface the, what citizenship is about. And citizenship is about the right to have rights. And public spaces, public education, including public higher education, it's really about how we engage our practices, um, which are all around facilitating competencies in critical thinking new methodologies and facilitating critical thinking, but bringing that together with competencies in ethical thinking. And really, we can't do that in, by thinking of it as just a technique or a tool. We need um, more content to that. And I think the content comes from philosophy. So I think if that's one thing we can do in every level of education, but especially in higher education, is to make sure that there is philosophy in every subject that we teach in higher education. That, that, that provides the way of thinking about different frames and values. And I think that's how we link the local and the global through what we do in our lecture halls and our classrooms.